Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here in the NVIDIA app, which has been recently updated. I wanna to talk to you about some driver issues that are going on. In the last two months, I've reinstalled my SIM three times, and I couldn't quite put my finger on what was going on, and I hadn't used it for a couple, maybe three weeks when I was on vacation, and I came home and had some things to do the end of August, beginning of September. And then once I did started using the SIM, I was getting crashes to desktop, I was getting issues with the SIM not loading, I would I would have to load it three, four, five times to get it to, to actually load, it would go kind of partway through the loading process and then stop and tell me I needed to restart my computer and I couldn't quite figure out what was going on. As you guys know, I do driver reviews pretty much every time a new NVIDIA driver comes out. And usually I'll do like a 30 minute, sometimes 45 minutes, and the most recent one was actually an hour flight around an area that I'm very familiar with and I'm familiar with the performance of, which is the Caribbean around St. Martin in the Britain Norman Islander. This is a clip here, the most recent one that I did. And one of the things that I hear from, albeit a minority of people when I do these videos is like, it's too long, that you don't get much, you know, you, you cut to the chase, give us the information. And the problem is, is that when you're reviewing a driver, you can't quite cut to the chase because sometimes uh, the issue or an issue that might exist with the driver is not going to show up in the first 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and in this case, hour. So I've started reading some things about other people having issues with the last couple NVIDIA drivers. And let's take a look at what those drivers are. Here on the Tech Power Up website, you guys can see the most recent one is the 56603, and before that was 56590, and those were the two most recent ones I did reviews of. I did update to 56109 when I got back from vacation. It was around that time that the issues I had started. And now basically what I've started seeing from various sources online is people having issues with the SIM, SIM crashes, not loading, people having to reinstall. And it finally occurred to me that it's probably the drivers. And I've read also on the official forums and other places of people that have rolled back drivers and the problems have disappeared. So I think I've seen enough information and experienced it enough on myself um, on my own now to say with a decent amount of confidence that at least the 56603 driver and perhaps even the 56590 driver might have some performance issues. And if you are experiencing crashes to desktop, if you are experiencing uh, loading issues where the SIM will load up for about 20 seconds, it'll get to, it'll get to the checking for updates screen and then it will tell you that there's, I forget what, exactly what the error message was, but that you have a problem and you need to reload or you need to restart your computer rather. If you're getting those issues and you're running the 566.03 driver, I would encourage you to roll back to the 56590 and see if that doesn't resolve your issues. The 56109 driver that was released September 11th of this year, that was the stutter fix driver. And that was a driver that when I reviewed it, had a very good performance, very smooth, and eliminated the short final stutters that I had been experiencing and a lot of people had been experiencing at that time and seemed to be a very, very good driver. The issue is that I didn't have a lot of time to fly in September, between September 11th and October 1st when the 565.90 came out. So I'm not 100% sure that the 561.09 is the solution. If you have the new NVIDIA app, one of the cool things about this app is when you click here on drivers, obviously you're going to see the 560, uh, 566.03 that I have installed now. But right down here, you've got your previously installed driver, which is the 565.90. And you can just click here and click on reinstall and it will automatically roll the driver back for you. The 565.90, 90 driver is still questionable in my mind because I, I did have issues throughout October. It was released on October 1st. I did have issues with that 
I really think this is driver based. I think the problem is the driver. And I think that if you're having these issues, it might not occur to you that that's what it is, a driver issue. I would encourage you to come here and roll back to the 56109 driver, specifically because it was the stutter fix driver. And I think if you go to a driver that's earlier than that, you might get some stutter issues. I did a stream yesterday using the 56603 driver, the latest one and I got a huge pause. It was so long that I thought it was actually gonna crash, the sim was gonna crash, about 10 seconds long. And so I think it's pretty certain at this point that this is a driver issue. So if you're getting these pauses, if you're getting failures to launch, or you're getting a message that you should restart your computer, I think it's gonna, you're gonna find out that this is the driver that's actually the issue. If you are gonna roll back your driver, what I would encourage you to do is use Display Driver Uninstaller. I'll put a link in the description for this. I would use this program, launch into safe mode, uninstall the driver using DDU in safe mode, restart your computer, and then install the new driver, whether it's 56109 or whichever one you wanna reinstall, I would reinstall that from scratch, so that way you, you make sure you don't have any residual files, anything left over from the driver that's giving you problems. And one other thing I would encourage you to check would be to come here on your desktop, right click, come to NVIDIA Control Panel. You come up here to the left side and click on the third option down, Configure Surround, comma, PhysX. Click on that and make sure that under PhysX Settings, I think a lot of you are gonna see Auto Select, which is what is the recommended setting. But what you wanna do is set your actual GPU here rather than the auto select button. So click the drop down, find your GPU, in my case, the RTX 3080 Ti, click on that, click apply, and you're good to go. So in any event, I just wanted to, uh, to share this information with you guys for, uh, for anybody that might be having these issues. And uh, if you have any feedback, any experiences that you've had with these drivers, uh, if you're having these issues, you can post in the comment section what driver you're running and what issue you're having or what driver you're running and the fact that you're having no issues. That'd be helpful for people to see that we can get some, uh, we can get some information collated around this. But it does seem to me that the driver is the issue. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope everybody's doing well. Have a great rest of your day.